so welcome back to Queen's Wednesday and it's time for strength of a woman uh, so this one is a special one uh, I, I'd like to call it for your eyes only because uh, I have Jane and Sarah and they're from the Fred Hollows Foundation and they do amazing work across the country and they're here to share the story Karibonisa. Thank you. All right uh, so your cover is right there uh, I'd like to give everybody a chance to introduce themselves yeah. uh, briefly so maybe we can start with uh, your camera. Thank you. My name is Jane Huma. I'm the country manager for the Fred Hollows Foundation in mm -hmm. Kenya. All right, thank you very much. And uh, Karim Sana? Uh, thank you so much. Uh -huh. My name is Sarah Olalo. Mm -hmm. I'm a project coordinator working for the Fred Hollows Foundation Kenya. All right. Uh, Santin Sanako Puja, and I love your work by the way, and uh, the numbers you have reached uh, across the country, uh, the lives you have impacted. Uh, it's amazing. We are going to get into the details, uh, but I'd like to know, how long have you been uh, with the foundation? I've been in the foundation for now eight years. Eight years now? Yeah. All right, that's yeah. a lot of time yeah. uh, in your life right yeah. there. Uh, what about you? I've been with the foundation for five years. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So, uh, what is your background? How did you get to where you are right now? Uh, my background is in public health. Mm -hmm. And I've, uh, after school, I've always uh, worked uh, in the uh, health sector. I was with the Minister of Health, and then I moved uh, to the development uh, sector, where I worked uh, in nutrition projects, uh, and then moved to eye care. You must be so passionate about it. How about you? Uh, what is your background? I'm a public health nurse. Uh -huh. uh, started uh, way back uh -huh. uh, working with the Minister of Health uh -huh. uh, here in the country. Uh -huh. Then uh, during the Somali refugee crisis, uh -huh. I had a passion to move to humanitarian work. Uh -huh. uh, so I moved to work with the uh, Kenya Red Cross uh, in the coastal refugee camps and also the Kakuma refugee camp. Then from there I moved out of the country, I was still in humanitarian work. I went to various countries, Kosovo, Eritrea, uh, then Sudan, mm -hmm. after which I decided to come back home. Mm -hmm. And uh, I saw an opportunity uh, in eye health, mm -hmm. uh, wanted to really get back to development mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. So I came back and uh, with the, joined the foundation mm -hmm. and joined eye health. Right. So a very passionate area of work. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow, that's a uh, that's a long time I see right there, and a lot of your time has been spent uh, with people who are suffering from something. Uh, I see. You've spent a lot of your time uh, helping people. I've noticed also that you both wear glasses. Does it have uh, anything to do with uh, uh, your passion for eye health? Public health. Uh -huh. uh, eye health is uh, blindness prevention, mm -hmm. uh, uh, visual impairment. These are public health uh -huh. uh, issues. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that is why probably we converged uh, uh -huh. within the foundation because the foundation is uh, very passionate. Our business is uh, uh, prevention of avoidable blindness mm -hmm. and uh, vision impairment. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are very passionate about mm -hmm. uh, uh, supporting the government, supporting people and taking services uh, to where people live mm -hmm. so that uh, people do not become needlessly blind mm -hmm. because in uh, eye health you find in a uh, blindness you find uh, out of every five people who are blind mm -hmm. uh, four of them don't need to be mm -hmm. yeah so you are taking five people who are blind mm -hmm. four of them don't, don't need to be four of, them four are, of the five who are, are blind pre preventable yeah That's are preventable uh -huh. because eye health uh, the blindness is preventable mm -hmm. but there's a caveat that services must be available mm -hmm. at the right time where it is needed mm -hmm. yeah all right yeah for services to be there at the right time uh when it's needed uh i'm guessing uh, both parties have to have to have to be involved they need to have the knowledge uh, that actually i can i can uh, i can get eye surgery because 
uh, the first time I had <laughs> you can have surgery on your eyes, I couldn't believe it. And so I'm guessing most people are also working with this. So uh, how is the awareness level in the country right now? Uh, the awareness level is still low uh. in the country and mm. especially in the rural areas. Uh. So as a foundation, we are working towards uh, ensuring that uh, the awareness levels have been increased. Mm -hmm. We are working with community-based organizations. Mm -hmm. We are working with women groups. Mm -hmm. We work with youth groups, mm -hmm. um, the men groups. Mm -hmm. I know uh, in most areas when we talk <laughs> about men groups, eh? uh -huh. Yeah. We are <laughs> we are rarely uh, yeah, talked so, about. I don't. Yeah. All so right. Basically, we are working with all community structures and mm -hmm. also the Ministry of Health just mm -hmm. to educate the communities and ensure that uh, they are aware that uh, they are aware about eye health mm -hmm. and also where they can access the services and at what time they need to access the services because again, mm -hmm. the health-seeking behavior of the communities is mm -hmm. also still a challenge. All right. Uh, I'm curious, when it comes to all these uh, health uh, issues, uh, we find women always getting uh, the shorter end of the stick because uh, when it came to the HIV pandemic, women were, were the most affected. And uh, uh, when we look at most of them, uh, women always get the shorter end of the stick in the society. Is yeah. this also uh, another place that women are getting the shorter end? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Globally, mm -hmm. about 55% mm -hmm. of the blind are women. Mm -hmm. So it goes that women are more affected, mm -hmm. are likely to be more affected, uh, to be blind than men. Mm -hmm. And this is due to various uh, reasons. Mm -hmm. Uh, women live longer than men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Everybody Obviously, has some women day. live longer than men. Uh -huh. uh, the health seeking behavior we women because of their traditional roles in society they rarely find time to access services uh, so so the socioeconomic uh, factors uh, are not, does not favor women so their access to health general health and also specific to eye health is low and you find that uh, in eye health specifically Unless, because if you are suffering from malaria and you have this fever and you can't really, then you you will go to hospital. Mm -hmm. Eye health is uh, unless it is really painful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So people hardly get that awareness that I need to have my eyes checked as a routine first. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the time some when some people by the time they seek services, it might be too late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, women, uh, the work of the foundation mm -hmm. is to uh, promote mm -hmm. women's uh, general access to eye health, mm -hmm. yeah? Right. And more specifically, women's access to eye health. All right, so the yeah. problem is uh, mostly access. It's not something to do with uh, uh, san some scientific reason that women are more prone to it. Yeah, access is... When you look at access, uh -huh. it is awareness uh -huh. because for you to go and seek services, you have mm -hmm. to be aware yeah. that I need to have my eyes checked mm -hmm. at periodic times. Mm -hmm. uh, access also means that uh, services have to be available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That even when I'm aware, mm -hmm. where do I get those services? Mm -hmm. uh, and when services being uh, available, mm -hmm. it means we have uh, enough trained personnel mm -hmm. and not just in towns mm -hmm. or cities but where people live in the villages mm -hmm. uh, those uh, health facilities have got adequate equipment and uh, supplies mm -hmm. in order to, to provide uh, the services that need to be provided mm -hmm. and uh, we also access also means that uh, the government is putting adequate resources in mm -hmm. terms of financial financial resources and all this that I've mentioned for eye health at the appropriate time and place. Wonderful. Let's go to the must knows when it comes to uh, eye health. Uh, let's start with uh, what are some of the causes of the blindness, the main causes of blindness? Uh, 
Among the causes of blindness, we have cataract, mm -hmm. which is the number one cause of blindness, followed by trachoma. Mm -hmm. And trachoma is an infectious cause of blindness. Mm -hmm. uh, we have refractive errors. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have other causes like uh, diabetic, diabetes, which uh, at the end stage someone develops diabetic retinopathy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, among others. Among others. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. which one is the most prevalent? Which one is the most common? Of course, it's cataract. Uh -huh. Yeah, because cataract comes with age. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, as you age, mm -hmm. you are a potential candidate uh -huh. to cataract. Right. Yeah, so it's the leading cause of uh, basically avoidable blindness. Alright, yeah. so uh, when uh, a cataract is growing, uh, that, that is the right way. Sorry? Uh, when, uh, when you're developing uh -huh. cataracts, uh -huh. uh, what are some of the symptoms? How, 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 how am I going to feel? <laughs> well, uh, are there things that I, I should know? About, uh, well, sometimes it uh -huh. depends on stage, but uh -huh. uh, it starts with uh, you are not able to see clearly, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. and then uh, the clouding of mm -hmm. the of the lens. Mm -hmm. So some people might tell you uh, there's something uh -huh. white. Uh, the specs. Uh -huh. Yeah, in your in your eye or uh -huh. in your lens. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. apoko macho. Uh -huh. Yeah, so. It's usually not painful, mm -hmm. so... It's very easy to assume. Yes, it's very easy to assume, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, normally, as well in the, in the villages, and that's why we talk of awareness, mm -hmm. uh, when someone develops cataract, mm -hmm. it is assumed that that is age. Mm -hmm. It is age-related, uh -huh. so uh -huh. that's how it's supposed to be, uh -huh. yeah. We should not, not be the We case. should not be, okay. yeah. So people sit back uh -huh. while well, not uh, really seeking health because mm -hmm. because uh, they they assume that that is nature. Uh -huh. Nature meant it to be that uh, that cataract comes and uh -huh. I live with it for the rest of my life. Uh -huh. And that is what the foundation is uh, tr is changing, uh -huh. trying to change that awareness that help is there. Uh -huh. And uh, you find that uh, in a household, for example when a mother becomes blind mm -hmm. then you look now at the impact mm -hmm. of that and they are not able to uh, take care of their families mm -hmm. and they have to de depend on uh, other people to take care of them right yeah. it's also interesting to know that personal hygiene is also something very important when it comes to your uh, your eye health and uh, you're telling me about trachoma which is uh, uh, something quite uh, interesting to know. Uh, tell me a little bit about trachoma. Uh, trachoma is uh, a leading cause of blindness and mm -hmm. leading cause of infection. An infectious leading cause of blindness, mm -hmm. uh, which basically uh, is prevalent uh, in pastoral communities mm -hmm. uh, who basically reside in arid and semi-arid counties mm -hmm. of this country and also globally. So trachoma is associated with um, unhygiene environments mm -hmm. yeah, because the infectious, uh, the vector that transmits the disease from one person to the other is mm -hmm. basically the house fly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, among other others like maybe sharing uh, towels mm -hmm. or the lessos among like when a mother wipes the eyes of a child and then uh -huh. wipes the other child. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. so. There is that cross infection. All right. Yes. So personal hygiene is something we should uh, be very careful with uh, when it comes to eye health. All right. Uh, so uh, these things are treatable, and uh, these things are also preventable. You can, uh, we can, we can, we can. Which one? <laughs> these <laughs> medical words are getting complicated. <laughs> All right, they can be mitigated uh, at a very early stage. Uh, yeah. So, what you are advocating for is check up, check up, check up. Check up, check up, check up. Uh -huh. And uh, we, uh, she, uh, Sarah mentioned about uh, uh, diabetes. Uh -huh. Because we know in this country, in our country now, diabetes is uh, becoming more prevalent mm -hmm. uh, at the Ministry of Health uh, statistics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the complications of uh, diabetes is uh, diabetic retinopathy that is uh, affecting the eyes. Mm -hmm. 
uh, people out there call it uh, sukari, ya maji. Hey. Yeah? So the <laughs> eyes are affected, mm -hmm. and it is very important for, uh, for this awareness that I'm, uh, we are talking about, mm -hmm. that uh, our health personnel uh, mm -hmm. are also uh, educating mm -hmm. the the community mm -hmm. and especially people who are uh, have been diagnosed as diabetics mm -hmm. that they are aware and they provide uh, s uh, frequent screening of the eyes so mm -hmm. that to uh, be able to identify this uh, early enough mm -hmm. because uh, treatment is there right. so it can be prevented right. so what we are saying is yes eye testing eye testing eye testing mm -hmm. uh, we are also saying that um, uh, we have to advocate, mm -hmm. we have to keep talking about eye health, mm -hmm. talking about eye health at all the forums, mm -hmm. so that eye health is on the table, right. in the, among the health priorities. Mm -hmm. Always part of the conversation. Sorry? Uh, so that it's eye part of the conversation. Always that part yeah. of the conversation. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, testing, testing, testing. Uh, go for checkup, go for checkup. Somebody's watching us right now, and uh, maybe they, they 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 think checkup is going to cost the money. So I don't have the money right now. Uh, how am I going to go for checkup? This and that. Uh, a normal monenshi. How do they get themselves checked? Uh, basically, uh, they can visit any hospital, including mm -hmm. public hospitals. Uh, eye check is. A basic check. Mm -hmm. it, uh, you, uh, the vision, vision acuity will be taken, mm -hmm. yeah, whereby uh, the eye doctor is able to determine or to tell from the reading mm -hmm. how far someone can, can be able to see mm -hmm. actually the vision of that person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a basic test. test uh -huh. Then from there, if uh, there are any issues that the doctor feels needs to be addressed, mm -hmm. then they'll refer. Mm -hmm. To the second stage, mm -hmm. but the basic test is is very simple. And basic step is simple. Yeah, it's All just right. taking yeah. of the uh, of the visual acuity. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, then from there, yeah. depending on the level, then mm -hmm. you move to the next stage. All right. And uh, the government uh, now we have uh, universal health coverage mm -hmm. as uh, one of the government's uh, pillars, mm -hmm. and. Uh, on that, we also, as the foundation, we are invested he investing heavily on uh, in training of uh, community health workers mm -hmm. at the peripheral. Mm -hmm. So these are people who are living in the community. Mm -hmm. So community health workers are being trained to identify eye diseases. Mm -hmm. If there is a problem in the eye, they are trained to identify any problem in the eye mm -hmm. and refer. Right. So the foundation is also working to ensure that uh, through the Ministry of Health, because mm -hmm. our um, primary partner is the Ministry of Health, mm -hmm. that at the dispensary level, which is the community, mm -hmm. that there's uh, a trained eye health person, mm -hmm. personnel, mm -hmm. uh, even the general health care workers at dispensary at health facility level, mm -hmm. they, have, they are able to identify problems in the eye mm -hmm. and then refer to the to specialists. Mm -hmm. And then um, your question about how do people have, uh, uh, afford? Mm -hmm. So we are uh, strengthening that referral system and mm -hmm. ensuring that trained personnel, because the foundation also works very closely with the training institutions mm -hmm. to provide trade, support the Ministry of Health in training uh, eye health personnel. Mm -hmm. So ensuring that the referral chain mm -hmm. uh, has got trained personnel, it means services have been taken to where people live, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. And then the government, our advocacy is advocating for government at county level and mm -hmm. also at the national level to uh, put resources, to allocate resources to eye health, just All as right. any other health priority as I as we mentioned. Right. Eye health is part of the agenda. Do you love what you do? <laughs> huh? I love what I do. Why do you love what I you do? I love what I do because uh -huh. um, in our work, uh -huh. you will come across uh, people who 
are not able to see. Mm -hmm. Let me take that example. Mm -hmm. And uh, through awareness, uh, through being able to support, work with the ministry and put services closer to the people mm -hmm. so that when this person comes, is mm -hmm. able to get the treatment mm -hmm. and it is very fulfilling mm -hmm. when somebody comes that was not able to see mm -hmm. and leaves mm -hmm. when that person is able to see. Mm -hmm. And I saw that moment when the, the eye patches are removed by the, the, uh -huh. the doctors uh -huh. and the person sees, regains sight. Uh -huh. It is a moment when it just confirms that you are doing the right thing, right. you are in the right place. Uh -huh. and you're making a change. It's a wonderful change. It's a wonderful film. change. Uh -huh. And we are celebrating International uh -huh. Women's Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And when you look at, uh, you look at, picture a household mm -hmm. where a mother is blind. Mm -hmm. That is a tough life. That is a tough life. Uh -huh. Because first of all, you look at this lady would not, will not be able to provide the usual, the women are the backbone of, of, of families. Yes, they are the homemakers. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yes. they, are, they are the homemakers. Uh -huh. So this woman being blind, it first of all it means that the husband or the man of the house mm -hmm. will not really focus mm -hmm. much on going to look for mm -hmm. the economic aspect. Mm -hmm. of so there will be a disconnect yeah, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It also means that one of the children, if mm -hmm. they are children, will have to stay home mm -hmm. and take care of the mother. Uh, that is missing and out most, on opportunities. Most specifically, uh -huh. it will be the girl child. Uh -huh. So the problem because goes the boy down. child, yes. Yeah, so it most right. it will be the girl child. Mm -hmm. So the immediate and long-term effect, uh -huh. first of this child uh -huh. missing on education, mm -hmm. you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the immediate effect of the nutritional status of this household. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the, just the economic impact, and not just to this household, mm -hmm. but to the community, mm -hmm. to the county, mm -hmm. and to the country as a whole. Right. So there's so, that mm -hmm. socio-economic impact of blindness. So when you restore a site uh -huh. in a... It's one person's site. Yeah, it's one person's site. Uh, it it is just that lives of that many people. That the whole community. And you uh -huh. can see and celebrate with these uh -huh. people when they regain their site and they start singing and clap, that just that excitement. All right. So it shows it. It just confirms that we are doing the right thing uh -huh. in the right place, uh -huh. and we need to do more. Uh -huh. We need to shout more uh -huh. so that resources are uh, located to eye health, mm -hmm. and um, we also need to develop uh, initiatives and approaches that mm -hmm. make services affordable. Mm -hmm. Right now. We have the public health insurance, mm -hmm. uh, the National Hospital Insurance Fund. How do we, as eye health uh, stakeholders, mm -hmm. leverage on this, on the universal health coverage, mm -hmm. to ensure that these services reach the indigents mm -hmm. out there in the community that are not reached because of out of pocket, to reduce the out of pocket mm -hmm. for our population? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we need to start thinking and working with government mm -hmm. to ensure that what we are doing is sustainable uh -huh. and people are able to access uh -huh. services uh -huh. without depleting their pockets. Uh -huh. yeah. So uh, so that it's also available to every social class in yes. the society. Yes. I love the way your face lightens up when you speak about it <laughs> and the reasons you love it. I'd like to take it to you. Uh, uh, what, are some, what do you think I can do as a person uh, who who has no knowledge about public health, who's in this a totally different field. And I know we are, uh, there are so many of us out there. What can we do as a person to, uh, to improve or to make this better? Uh, it's just basically creating awareness, mm -hmm. yeah. shouting about eye health, mm -hmm. raising the profile of eye health, mm -hmm. and just ensuring that communities uh, get access to services, mm -hmm. yes. Awareness, awareness, awareness. awareness. All right, and uh, the people who are watching us right now need to understand that uh, regular checkups are uh, will save your life. Yes, regular checkups uh -huh. 
you don't have need to travel to mm -hmm. very far mm -hmm. because uh, these services are available mm -hmm. right where you live mm -hmm. uh, from the dispensary mm -hmm. from the health uh, center mm -hmm. public and private hospitals mm -hmm. you'll always get services mm -hmm. so don't stay at home and when be an ambassador, mm -hmm. and that is uh, just coming back to your question. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. we'd like you to be an ambassador uh -huh. of iHealth. Tell somebody. Yeah, tell somebody. Uh, about tell it. somebody. Uh -huh. Ask somebody, did you go for your annual eye check? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we talked about refractive error, mm -hmm. and sometimes uh, the government uh, uh, statistics show that a lot of our, the accidents that happen there is because mm -hmm. we're not able to see properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yet we are on the roads. Uh -huh. So going out there to get your eyes checked at every opportunity and at every it, it is there mm -hmm. and services any public hospital mm -hmm. you'll get services they are trained personnel government personnel you'll be able to get services oh, don't stay at home mm -hmm. and for, for children uh -huh. a child who has eye problems mm -hmm. that child was not born mm -hmm. to be blind mm -hmm. or to suffer Mm -hmm. There's help out there. Uh -huh. Don't keep children at home. Uh -huh. Take the children to the next uh, eye health facility for checkup. Thank you very much for that beautiful, wonderful message right there. Do you have an online present, uh, on online presence rather, online presence? Are you on any social media platforms, or or do you have a website that people can go check out your work and just uh, see if they can get involved with it if interested? Yes, we uh -huh. have a website uh -huh. as a foundation. Mm -hmm. We're also on Facebook mm -hmm. and Twitter. And Twitter All right, account. just look them straight into the eyes right there as you share the handles uh, as we wrap this up. And with Fred Hollows. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, Fred Hollows, I think I, I was logged into yeah? the website here. Yes. Uh, so it's, you are uh, logged in. Uh -huh. yes. It's the Fred Hollows Foundation. Yes. yes. Online. Yeah. Yes. Fred online. Hollows Foundation, foundation. Online. online. And. Uh, the work you're doing in Kenya is amazing. Uh, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, and I mm -hmm. just just want to appeal that uh, we need. I have used a lot of resources, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll take this opportunity to appeal mm -hmm. to the international community mm -hmm. to invest in eye health mm -hmm. uh, because uh, women are out there, children are out there that need mm -hmm. these services. Mm -hmm. So help us restore sight. Help mm -hmm. the foundation restore sight. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we work with government to address uh, this public health issue. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, any last remarks? Uh, it said that the eyes at the window uh -huh. of the body. Mm -hmm. Imagine being in a dark room mm -hmm. uh, with uh, black curtains mm -hmm. on the windows mm -hmm. with no light. How would you feel? Try to imagine that feeling mm -hmm. and the experience. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden someone comes and draws the curtains mm -hmm. and switches on the lights. Mm -hmm. It's like Compare being in a blackout people. and then the, li the lights come back. Wow. Yes. So that is what we do uh -huh. and we are happy with what we do. Uh -huh. And um, the feeling we get from the community, especially after a site has been restored, uh -huh. is out of this world. Yeah. So it's site by site or site after site. Thank you, Coach. Thank you very much for coming and thank you very much for the work that you're doing right there. We appreciate you so much. All right. Thank so you. So remember, uh, Fred Hollows, you can find them online as at Fred Hollows Foundation and you can be part of this beautiful journey or this beautiful thing that they're trying to do for us. As I promised, this one was for your eyes only. We are on Facebook at Y254, on Twitter at Y254 channel and on Instagram at Y254 underscore channel. So interact with us, uh, ask questions and we'll be very uh, happy to answer them or refer you to the professionals over here. Thank you very much, uh, Jane and uh, Sarah, uh, for coming through to Y in the morning. Thank you. All right, strength of a woman. Uh, Queen's Wednesday continues in a few.